Not acceptable, I'm afraid. Oh no, would you like to be connected? Yes. Thank you. Yes, yes. I would like some accountability, please. Which button do I have to push for accountability? Thank you for calling Sussex Police. I'm Giles York, the chief Yeah, I wonder if you could help me. I've been trying to get through to Crawley Police Station to speak to a duty sergeant. Is that possible from here, or do I need to ring another number? What's the nature of the call? The nature of the call is regards to a public photographer that was harassed by Crawley Police and Sussex Police in general uh, while out conducting a uh, investigation of his own as a member of the Free Press. Okay, let me transfer your call tree. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to speak to someone with regards to uh, an infringement that occurred by one of your police officers with regards to a member of the free press that was taking photographs in a public place. Okay, um, do you have any reference numbers or anything? No. Okay, um, so uh, what's your name? Uh, I just I just want you to put me through to the relevant department that might deal with this. I don't know who to call directly because I've tried your website and there wasn't anything directly okay. saying call this person or call that person. I tried to go through to I think the duty sergeant at Crawley Police Station and I couldn't get directly through to them so they put me through to you. So if you can direct me as to where I should go with regards to asking questions. I don't want to make a complaint per se. I just want to ask questions with regards to why it is that that Sussex Police seem to have a problem with public photography? Okay, um, but I can't I can't uh, refer you to anyone unless I know sort of what the situation is. Like, right. Okay. There, let there me let, let me incident. let me put this into a context. Right. A member of the Sussex Police Force, no less a sergeant, right, threatened to take my camera, right, and mm -hmm. seize my camera equipment under the 2008 Terrorism Act, under which there is no provision for seizing my camera equipment and is contrary to guidance on public photography issued by the Association of Chief Police Officers, which clearly states you cannot take anybody's camera equipment without a court order. So what I want to know is why a sergeant in the Sussex Police Force threatened to take my camera equipment under the 2008 Terrorism Act, under which there is no provision to do so, and why he threatened to take my camera without any court order whatsoever, which is contrary to the guidance on public photography. So either that sergeant is unaware of his guidance on public photography, which would be unacceptable, or he is aware of the guidance on public photography and chose to ignore it, and that would also be unacceptable. Okay, do you know the sergeant's name or badge number? I've got his name and badge number. I don't have it to hand. It's on the video that I recorded. But okay, the, 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 I don't per, per se want to make a, 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 a sort of accusation against that particular officer. He probably acted in his own manner and did his own, made his own decisions on that day. But I, what I want to discuss with somebody is how this guidance is implemented and, and how it can be addressed in future. And if need be, as a photographer of some 30 years, I'm more than happy to come into the police station and give your officers a free lecture on the free press and their guidance on public photography at no expense to yourselves whatsoever. Okay, I think your best option is to go into a front office and talk to an officer about it, because they'll know more than I do. Are you an officer yourself or are you just civilian administration? I'm uh, 
I'm, I'm not an officer, I'm just police staff. Right, so you're just civilian administration? Yeah. Okay. Um, I've, I've, I've tried this on various occasions and all I wanted to do is speak to someone on the phone. So could you direct me maybe to another department? I'm not sure, because the options that I'm given on the phone, like press one, press two, press three, etc., don't really sort of manifest themselves to the somebody I, I'd like to speak to. So is there a way I can get around those options and just trying to speak to a senior officer, maybe a sergeant or uh, or above that, that we could address this, not this specific situation, but just the general guidance on, on, on the public photography issue? Because it seems to be that police forces around the UK um, I'm getting video. I'm a, an independent journalist. I do it in my spare time, um, and I'm literally getting messages and videos on an almost daily basis of police contradicting not only the law, but also contradicting their own guidance, and it's be it's just becoming totally unacceptable. So, how would I go about addressing this issue? with a member of the police force that could give me some guidance as well as to how I move forward with this investigation. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm conducting I'm, I'm, an investigation now because it's become a matter of, you know, and it's not just photographers in general, it's members of the public as well because mm. any member of the public is allowed to take pictures in a public place, you know, otherwise nobody will be allowed to take selfies. So, yeah. you, know, you know, it's just pretty general, you know, rules. These aren't highly... You know, you know, really sort of in-depth law-abiding, you know, law-graphic sort of, you know, they're, they're, it's completely general. It's you couldn't get any more general than a free press. Everybody's entitled to a free press in this country. So, who would I speak to with regards to maybe press relations, public relations, maybe someone like that? Um, any duty sergeant or above that's available to me tonight, I'd be grateful for. Give me one Thank you. Right, I'll tell you I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll take those emails, go on far away. Mm -hmm. So there's one oh one at Sussex. Yeah, I've tried that one. Okay, have you not got any anything back? No. Okay. I there's even left my name and telephone number with a previous police force that violated the photographer's rights in Lark Hall in West London and I left them my name, my address, my date of birth, and that was about two weeks ago and nobody's got back to me. Okay, when did you email us? Uh, 101 at that one. Yeah, when did you email us? That was about four weeks ago and I still haven't had a response. Right, okay. So I don't have much time because I'm due to go on assignment on uh, the day after tomorrow. So I've only got tonight really to try and follow up on this and it's it's getting to the point where I'm getting nowhere, literally. No, and I'm not, not being horrible to you personally. I appreciate you're just a civilian officer, a civilian personnel sort of thing. But when I, when I sort of ring up and say, I would like to speak to somebody, I shouldn't have to wait four weeks and not get a response. That's kind of unacceptable. You know, if I was ringing the local council and, and had a complaint or an issue that I wanted dealt with, I wouldn't expect the local council to ignore me for four weeks and not respond to me whatsoever. That would be unacceptable. If I was running a business and a customer complained to me about the business I was running, do you think it would be acceptable for me to ignore that customer for four weeks and never respond to them? No, I you know, that's, that. that's, that's the kind of issue I've got here. So I'm trying to get through to the right person so that I don't waste anybody else's time, i.e. yourself or 
maybe a sergeant can't answer my questions, I don't know. But without going through some sort of process, um, I, I can't air my, my problems and I've tried every other way of doing it and I'm not getting any response. So, so how, how, how can I sort of air my issues and get a response is, is probably what I'm trying to get at, if, if you know what I mean. I tried the 101 email and I got no response. I spoke to um, a gentleman a couple of days ago with regards to a photographer that was arrested in, I believe it was West Yorkshire. Um, he was arrested after he filmed a incident in a public place which involved the police. He was standing with a gaggle of other people, but he was the only one with a camera and he was arrested. So why was he picked out of a 20 or 30 people watching this incident, but he was the only one with a camera? You know, it, it starts to ask questions. As an independent freelance journalist, I have to sort of question why it is that out of 30 or 40 people watching this incident, he was arrested, but he was the only one who had a camera. So, so, so you're doing you're doing an investigation on it. Well, yeah, because I have my own personal not complaint, my own personal issue, but I also now, as I put it out on the internet that you know I've had this issue, I'm having loads of other people send me emails, uh, text messages, videos, uh, links to videos of police doing exactly the same thing, which all is con is contradictory. To your own guide, to, to the police's own guide, not your guidance, sorry, your civilian, but to the police's own guidance on public photography, where they're snatching cameras, taking people's cameras, deleting images, taking SD cards, seizing equipment, and none of that, none of that, they can't do any of that without a court order. So why are the police violating their own guidance and the law? and not being held accountable for it. And when I ring up as a sem as a independent freelance journalist and trying to gather information about why this is happening, it's either a lack of education on the part of the police, or it's, a, it's, a, it's the police know their guidance and know what their parameters are, and they're just violating that. Because it has to be one or the other. It can't be both, can it? No, I understand that. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to help you today other than give you the advice to go to a police station when you can and talk to, ask to talk to a um, officer because you'll get you'll have, you'll be able to um, get hold of an officer I, through the front office rather than through here. I can't I can't connect you to anybody. Right, I appreciate what you're saying. Okay, let's just imagine the magnitude of the situation. The magnitude of the situation is this is not just personally to me. And if I walk into, say, Crawley Police Station, for argument's sake, uh, or Brighton Police Station, and say, can I speak to a sergeant? And they say yes, and he comes out and talks to me. How far am I going to get with that? Not very far, because we're talking about a national issue now. We're talking about people on a literally daily, weekly basis are sending me videos of them being having their rights violated in a public space where they're legally allowed to take pictures and the police know they're allowed to take pictures in that public space and they're being violated. So, so me popping into my local police station and talking to the sergeant isn't going to rectify that problem. He's not. I, I mean, if I, I go to the, if I go I, to Bright, I, if I go for argument's sake, if I go to Brighton Police Station and talk to the sergeant, he's not going to be able to rally around the whole police force and say, "Look, we're all doing something." No, but neither, neither am I, and I, I can't tell you who can do that. So, who who deals? Can you search within your system on your computer who deals with public relations, press? Who deals with that in the UK? Who? Who would coordinate that? Which department would would coordinate that type of thing? Because that's I think I think that's where I need to go next. Because popping into my local police station isn't going to solve my problem, and it isn't going to answer the questions to my investigation. Um. Without sort of sorry, I don't mean to be rude. It's just. I'm getting the runaround now. I've been at this for like six, seven weeks now, and I'm not getting any further than me and you have just had this conversation. And yeah. after seven weeks, can you imagine how frustrating that is? I'm, all I'm trying to do is, I've, I've, I've had problems with, I don't know, 
all sorts of things. You know what it's like. You have to call the HMRC, the tax office or whatever and blah, blah, blah. You know, general crap that you have to deal with in life. You know, dealing yeah. with the local council didn't pick up my bins. You know, uh, didn't pick up my bin because the wrong can was in the wrong bin or whatever. I've had that dealt with quicker than I've had. And this is pretty fundamental. It's not about the wrong can in the wrong bin or the wrong trash in the wrong bin. You know, we're talking about fundamental human rights to hold public officials accountable in their public space and the legal rights to take photographs in a public space and to document what goes on in public. And there's a fundamental right of a free press in this country. I mean, it's pretty fundamental. I'm not arguing about bins and cans. I'm asking about fundamental rights that every citizen has in this country. And I can't seem to get an answer and I've been at it now for seven, eight weeks to try and get an answer to at least three, four serious incidents involving the police against their own guidance on public photography. And it's, it's, it's getting to the point where I'm finding it pretty unacceptable. And I don't mean to be personal to you. I help, I'm, uh, if, you can, if you can help me out, I'd be really grateful. I'm trying, but I, I, I can't refer you to someone who deals with the whole country. I, I haven't got that power. I, I, I wouldn't know who, who to deal to, to refer you to. All I can say is either give you the advice of going into a front office and speaking to a sergeant, or um, there is the the head of Sussex Police that I, I can give you his name and you can get in contact with him somehow. Head of Sussex Police. Yeah, the um, Jerry like the Westerman. Inspector. No, Giles York. Giles, oh, I've tried to get hold of Giles York. Can't get any answer out of him either. Other than that, I can't. I can't help you. I'm afraid. And Giles York's position again is what inspector? I think he's the chief inspector of Sussex Police. Right, Rosie oh, Ross is the chief inspector. Oh no, chief constable. Sorry. Chief constable. Rosie Ross is the chief inspector, and Jerry Westerman is the divisional commander. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm is there not I anybody be... specifically within the police service that deals with the press and public relations? Something on that matter. Would that would that be a bit more help you look look it up? Um, have a look. I could refer you to the media relations team. Okay. And that is the other email I was going to give you. Let's try them, see how they get on. So that's media.hq. Yep. At sussex.pnn.police.uk. pnn.co.uk. Sorry, dot co, dot co uk. No, Sussex. So at Sussex dot pnn dot police dot uk. So drop the media HQ bit, yeah. No, you can you can use the media HQ at Sussex dot pnn dot police dot uk. pnn dot co dot uk. No, pnn dot police dot uk. Oh, sorry, dot police. UK. Yeah. And your name was, sorry? My name's Charlotte. Charlotte. Is there, a, do you have any ID numbers that I can take or something that I don't? I have a, I have a pay number. Yeah. 37887. 37887. It's nothing personal, Charlotte. Don't no, I understand that. It's just that at least I got some way of saying, well, look, I spoke to Charlotte the other day and, and I can trace my steps back and then uh -huh. that way I don't have to kind of go around all the hoops again. Okay. All right, Charlotte, thank you very much for your all time. Right. Um, hope Bye. you don't have a, too much of a late one. You can enjoy your New Year's. Yeah, thank you. All right, no worries, Charlotte. Thanks for your help. Much appreciated. No problem. Bye. Bye-bye. And... There it pretty much is, unaccountability on a massive scale because people take pictures in a public space. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, 2018 has been a difficult one, but hopefully for everybody, uh, 2019 will be somewhat 
uh, more enjoyable for us all. And we can try and all move forward um, and, and get a bit more accountability from government, police, etc., etc., any public service. Uh, we can try and hold these people accountable. Um, if you have any videos in the UK that you want to send me, uh, send, send them to me. link to uh, any of my videos um, with a link to the YouTube video, or whatever, BitChute. Uh, I'm on BitChute now as well and Steamit and DTube. And I'm on Minds.com, so you can send me stuff there. I will upload all future videos to all of those channels. So if my YouTube channel goes down for whatever nefarious reason, um, you can get hold of me there. Um, I hope you have a lovely Christmas and a fantastic New Year. And um, I'm late. I should be going out for a couple of beers. But um, I just fancied making that phone call first as a little New Year's present to my subscribers. And um, to show you how difficult it is to get even a semblance of accountability um, in this country. Um, so that was three calls, 53, 50, 10, 21, 10. It's now 21, 30. So it's like over 50 minutes on the phone. Um, I'll edit this so that it doesn't bore the crap out of people listening to different options and all that shit. So, there it is, and we still haven't got anywhere. We still haven't got anybody to comment on the police's own guidance on public photography and why it's being violated. Either the police know their guidance on public photography and choose to ignore it, which would be unacceptable, or they don't know their guidance on public photography, and that would also be unacceptable and a lack of training on the part of the police so we'll go from there but thanks everybody for your support it really is much appreciated and we'll see you all in the new year i'm sure it won't take long for more you know ridiculous police videos to turn up and unaccountability videos to turn up so anyway stay safe everybody look after yourselves appreciate you and thanks for everything you've done for me this year and your support and your subscribes your messages, your comments, uh, your emails and everything else. It really is much appreciated. All right, um, take care and I'll speak to you all soon. All the best.